Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Ali Shamo here. In this video today, we are going to review Falcon 180 by Ishin. This is another FPV racing quadcopter from Ishin Falcon 180, and this is using my favorite CC3D. So for me, I actually am more comfortable with CC3D because I have been using CC3D for a very, very long time. Ishin has been pumping out some quadcopters for the FPV racing scene, and the latest uh, from the line of Ishin are Falcon and Blade series. I have reviewed the Blade 185, and here it is the Falcon 180 from Ishin. So let's quickly take it outside the box. There is not much information on the box, but this quadcopter has a little bit of surprise for you and in a positive way. Let me show you what it is. Ta -da! Surprise! There's no user manual in this quadcopter. Well, it is kind of positive surprise in a positive way because the user manuals coming with such Chinese products normally are of no help at all. So thank you very much for not giving us any user manual and saving us time from reading some user manuals which are totally not helping at all but wasting our time. Just for the uh, how to say looks of the quadcopter we will see if the quadcopter can actually make us say wow with its flying performance so taking a look at the quadcopter right outside the box the first thing you see tilted motors these are probably 10 to 15 degrees i believe maybe 10 degrees tilted motors so your quadcopter is going to give you more speed right after taking off while flying a bit more leveled okay so yes with tilted motor right after takeoff your quadcopter will start moving remember that so having tilted motors a nice nice green color scheme matching the motors as well and the frame i mean motor mounts and at the back side the led bar this is going to be really shiny i believe so uh well looking at the quadcopter of course when you hold it in your hand you say wow man this is good but let's say if we will say wow when we are flying it okay, as i said there's nothing much to show we have two sets of propellers 1500 milliamp battery uh, charger cable b3 imax b3 balance charger fs i6 or ishin i6 radio a converter a clover leaf antenna binding cable and of course a small quadcopter this remote control belongs to me it's not for the quadcopter so let's take a closer look at the quadcopter what i like about the quadcopter is its traditional design no those integrated board kind of things which actually when you crash you have a crack and your whole quadcopter is unable to fly because you have to replace the board so this is an old uh, school traditional setup i like it escs are mounted just outside okay we have a main power distribution board and a cc3d mounted right in the middle a video transmitter is on the back and you have a camera which is hanging on the rubber damping balls in order to prevent the uh, you know vibrations or jello coming through the camera and at the back side I'm sure this is kind of super bright LED bar for uh, for the pilots who cannot compete with you to see or to eat your LED lights light only. It's a standing on an aluminum uh, towers uh, posts which I'm sure are gonna break on the very first hard hit. So don't try to land it very hard. The receiver is sitting right on in the front, okay, and rest of the things are very very simple. Overall, you can see frame is very, very thick and looking very, very tough. So the only thing I will be managing, so the only thing that I will manage to break will be probably these long legs and the LED lights on the back. And maybe if I'm lucky, I can crack the main power distribution board on the bottom. I'm not sure. We will see. All right. So we will see how good the Ishin Falcon 185 is and if it is going to beat Ishin Blade 180 which I have previously reviewed if you want you can go ahead and check Ishin Blade 180 review right here click the link and if you like go ahead and continue with this video and watch the flight video of Ishin 
Falcon 185. Ishin Falcon 185, Ali is making the test. Very sluggish. <laughs> and that's the, wait, wait, one moment, antenna. You put the antenna like this? Which one? The antenna should be up or down? Okay, like this. Like this is okay, fine. Ali is wearing the Ishin EV800 goggles as well. Flying the Falcon 185. His head is hanging down, <laughs> just like all the pilots do. <laughs> Looks like he's trying to look into the, la <laughs> the <laughs> earth itself. He's flying pretty far. Normally for the testing, I wouldn't go that far. Okay. You are losing the video? No, no, it's okay. If you're losing the video, it's because you're hanging your head too down. <laughs> Keep your head up and it should be fine. Oh, 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 it flipped back. Okay, good. <laughs> Let me try it, hold on. Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Ali Shama here. We have the Ishin Falcon 185 in my hands. We flew it the other day and it was absolutely sluggish. I mean, it was behaving so bad that I did not want to fly too much. I tried FPV, I crashed because it was always going down, back, going forward, back. So it was like a pendulum to fly it. So what I did, I went home, I wanted to tweak the CC3D PIDs and then I found this is impossible to put in the USB cable because they put the USB port right here under. So what I had to do is remove the uh, down here, this bottom plate and turn the CC3D 90 degree clockwise, okay? And I have the USB port here. Now it is very easy for me to tweak or program the CC3D. So I have programmed the CC3D on it and uh, unfortunately I can have only two flight modes and there's no way I can program this FlySky i6 radio because they have locked the programming. So no matter how much I press this button, there's no way I can program it. So I'm unable to change the uh, flight mode switch to, uh, I mean flight mode control to switches. I have to use this dial which is very very annoying to switch flight modes. Anyway, so no choice, let's fly it now. It should fly sweet this time. Oh, I can clean. It has a tilted motors, so it shoots forward as soon as you let go on the sticks. Look, we can clean the road now. There's a lot of sand down here and it will make a very good video here. Hovering it on a zoom shot. <laughs> I'm sure mommy is doing it. All right, we cleaned that area. This is a very good tool to clean your road. All right, this is the uh, simple mode. You can see now it's not shooting forth and back like it was on the very first flight when Ali tried it. And it gets a oh, oh, lot of speed. <laughs> there is a crosswind slapping it. It gets a lot of speed because of the uh, tilted motors, especially if it is a tailwind. Here comes more wind. And it goes really fast with the wind so you see now it's really stable and simply a breeze to fly uh oh which thing fall, fell down <laughs> so people things are falling hold on if you buy Ishin 185 Falcon please change the PIDs before you actually fly it tweak it what fell off the quadcopter? Ta-da! The 
like LED unit. <laughs> I mean, oh my god. It is supposed to be here like this by pins only and it fell. So I will have to stick it and for now I'll just remove it. Irish hold this one. Okay, let's try the acrobatic mode. Come on, go backward. Hadi's face is so red. Here we go. Acro mode. I feel it a little bit sluggish because of its size and the winds. Let's crush it. Look at the flip. Flowers, happy. There isn't much punch on, I mean, power in the motors to do those hang times. There isn't much power to do the hang times, but hey, it's flying very nice and I like it. So, in acro mode, I still have to tweak the PIDs for this little. against the wind. So let me put it into the uh, acro, I mean attitude hold mode again. There, much easier to control now and a zoom shot for mommy. lock on it. I think the access lock will be better. Look, it has actually very nice speed. And it goes far. I cannot see if it is coming or going. Eventually, lucky me, it was coming. <laughs> and it came to us. It's too small to save and fly line of sight. So let me land it and conclude. After that, I will fly FTV on it using my Ishin EV800 goggles. Clean the road more! Awesome! Hey, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe because we upload regular and exciting RC videos.